Okay, so I'm going to show you a little something um, that comes in handy when you're trying to create a symmetrical character or object or anything and you find that your symmetry is off for some reason. So if I'm, I'm going to turn symmetry on just to show you the issue. So you see the symmetry works on these legs for the most part, but just not in some areas. Um, which is an issue when you rig. You want your character as, to, be as to be as symmetrical as possible. So I'm selecting a, a face here. It should show up on both sides, but it's not. Like here it's showing up on both sides, but then some spots just don't seem to work and that's a bad sign. So even though it looks kind of even, it's not. And uh, I'm just gonna hide this because it's distracting and we're gonna, fix this and make it symmetrical. Let's go into our front viewport. We're gonna isolate our selection. So object mode and then this little button up here will isolate. And then we're gonna go into face and we're gonna try to rectangular select as close to the center as possible all of the faces. Oh, and you'll see I have my object X selected. I need my symmetry off. That was an amateur mistake. <laughs> But now that we've got symmetry off, we'll try again. Okay, delete. And it looks very close to being perfect. I see something over here crossing the middle line. We want to delete every last bit so that nothing crosses that line. It can touch the line, that's good, but we don't want it to cross. So after that, it looks like we've got what we need. We've got one half of our object in the X. If you look, this is in the X. So we're gonna mirror it in the X, combine the two, and it'll create a symmetrical object. A really important thing when mirror mirroring is having your um, pivot in the very center of the scene, meaning, or at least in the very center of the X because we're mirrored wherever, wherever you're mirroring it from you want it to be in this that center so this is being mirrored in the X it needs to be centered in the X and the fastest way to do that if you don't have it if you have the pivot maybe say centered in the object like this the best way to get it exactly in the X is to create a polygon primitive that will automatically show up right where you need it to be and then you're going to select your object then select that primitive and you're going to go to modify match transformations match pivots now your pivot for your object that you want to mirror is right where it should be same spot that the little cube was so we delete that cube we don't need it anymore we've we've selected our object we're going to go to mesh mirror let's open up the mirror box option box here and we want this to be mirrored in the x-axis, so that's right. And we need it to go in negative x, because this is in the positive x, so that's right. And we want merge border vertices to be on. So if you try this out and it doesn't go in the way you expect, like maybe it's being mirrored in this opposite direction or something's going on, you can alter these uh, until you get it right. So sometimes I think it's in the positive and it's in the negative and I got to you know undo undo and get back to this but um basically these settings are right for what we need for this character so I'm going to apply and you'll see that it worked out and uh, our uh, border vertices have been merged meaning they're combined to make one object so up here it worked out everything connected well uh, it doesn't look like anything didn't connect and if it didn't connect, we would want to change the merge threshold here, make it higher so that it's more likely to connect. And uh, the merge threshold seems to be a little too high because it worked over here when it shouldn't have. So we're gonna turn that down. Let's turn it down to two and that fixed it. That's a threshold that works. Everything else looks pretty good. So I think we've got our symmetrical pants here. Let's just, Oh, turn symmetry on and scope it out. Looking good. These were some of our problem areas before. They are symmetrical. So 
that is it. That's how you create a symmetrical object um, using the mirror tool in Maya. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.